Hello, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Lababa. Before I start this video, please subscribe and click the little bell so you get notified every single time I publish a video. Today's video is all about the things you hear about franchising. And these things generally uh, come to fruition <laughs> when, you, uh, when you're looking for a franchise. Here, here's a few of them. Uh, the first one. Joel, I hear that the franchise companies make all the money. Is that true? Well, of course it's not true. If the franchises, the franchisors made all the money, then the franchisees wouldn't make any money and franchising would disappear as a business model. So no, it's not true. Uh, uh, another one. Let's go with, uh, here, let's see, I wrote them down. Um, oh. Joel, I hear when you uh, sign a front a franchise contract, a front front, a franchise contract, that uh, you are signing your life away for like at least ten years, and that you can't get out of that franchise agreement. Eh, false. Uh, you're not signing your life away. You're signing a legal document, a legal contract. Uh, franchise agreements, franchise contracts usually are ten years in length. Nice long term plan. However, um, there, there is a way to get, well, there are two ways to get out of it. First of all, you don't pay your fees and you don't do anything. You, you don't uh, pay your lease and, and you don't pay your royalties and you close your business down. So that's one way to get out of the contract. Uh, the, the other way is you simply sell your franchise to someone. Now, in most cases, you can do it anytime during, the, during your contract. Uh, but read your contract to make sure, and better yet, have a franchise attorney go over the contract with you so you understand all your uh, uh, liabilities. Um, but you can sell it pretty much anytime you want, but the franchisor must approve who you sell it to. All right, You can't just uh, sell to some, some dude or dudas off the street that has a little money. They have to be qualified. Uh, let's see. Let's find another one. Um, I've heard that... Uh, Franchising is just a pyramid scheme. Uh, no, it's not. And let's end it there. And it's certainly not anything like multi-level marketing. One of my favorite hitting um, uh, business models. Uh, I'm not going to even get into it. Uh, it's not worth it. But no, franchising is not a pyramid scheme. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, well, this is a cousin to it. Joel, I'm afraid that franchising is just like one big scam. I hear so many bad things. Well, um, some franchisors are scammers. I'll tell you that right now. Some people in franchising are scammers. Some people just don't care. They just want to make the franchise fee, earn it, put it in their bank, go to Vegas, gamble it away, uh, use it on whatever. Um, and, and there are some not very nice people in franchising, just like any other business. But is franchising a scam? Absolutely not. You just need to be careful on what franchise you choose to own. And that is done with proper research, a proper choice, staying within your budget, things like that. Common sense things. If you need any help with those, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava. There's a link below and we can talk. I do uh, complimentary phone calls to see if uh, I can help you and to see if you feel that I can. Once again, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Lababa. Don't believe everything you hear about franchising, because it's not true. Thanks for watching.